Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Uniden Bearcat UBC 355 CLT Entry Level Scanner. Comes with obviously the scanner, the AC adapter. Also comes with a wired uh, antenna, a telescopic antenna. A mount bracket for the screws because this is the uh, mobile, uh, a mobile and a desktop scanner, that's why it comes with all these. Um, you can wire it straight into your battery, into your cigarette uh, socket, it's got an adapter there, and then in instructions. So for the money, the UBC 355, you get quite a, a lot for your money, to be honest. It is a, a, a entry level scanner. I've got um, an external antenna, what I put up on the roof from Broadworld's antenna. I really recommend them guys. So if you pop across to them, I think they've got a Facebook page. Um, they're really helpful. You can get a lot of antennas from there, and you can custom what your uh, to your needs. I got a a vertical antenna off them, and yeah, as you can see on the video, you'll see I put that on myself. But when I'll be going mobile, I'll be putting the bracket in my van, um, and using the wired antenna, and 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 see how that goes. If not, I'll be buying a probably mag mount a sky scanner or something like that. See what happens. But for the moment, um, concentrating on my own base one. So as you can see, guys, it's scanning away. The only uh, bad thing I can see so far about this scan is you can't physically punch the keys in. You know, to a frequency. You've got to scan it, and these buttons here, you press different ones. So you can press air, band, marine band, or scan both, and emergency services, FRN, PMR, uh, CB, and ham radio. And it's also got a close function here. And as you can see, if anybody comes within, I think it's about 100 yards or so, it automatically uh, switches to that frequency if someone's close by. Or you can um, turn that off completely. Or you can have it as there where it's not highlighted, but it, the device will tell you that there's something uh, very close by. And you can uh, opt to, to turn over to that frequency. Or I just leave it on. 
where it automatically goes to that frequency, whatever's uh, close by. So as we're uh, looking now, we just had a bit of action there on that frequency. So if you wanted to program in that guys, you'll press program. And you'll see it'll come up as channel. And then you press private. And it'll go to number six. And then program that in again. And then that's programmed in um, to your location. And then you'll just keep scanning from there. And basically, all your programmed channels go into private. So you can uh, just scan that if you want to choose that on its own. And by pressing these where it's blanking them out, it'll turn all the other scan functions off. And it'll just scan your private. And vice versa, if you want to turn that off, you want to just do the air band and turn private on, and then you'll just show air band. So, for about what did I pay? About £85 um, for this, and it's brand new as well. So, yeah, you get quite a lot of money for the Unid M Bearcat from Broadsword and Tenor. I think I paid around about £40 or so. Um, with the custom coax length what I needed so yeah if you go down to Broadswords antennas uh, great antennas I can highly recommend them to when you turn it off which is on the volume button you'll turn it down for the click turn it off you can actually program a clock in and there again you just press program And then you'll press up and down to set your your clock, whatever time it is. So we'll just turn it on now. So when it stops on a frequency, and say like now there's nothing on it, you just press up. And, and it'll just keep scanning through. You can turn the squelch up here. If you so wish. And say like it stops on a frequency. You can press hold. And obviously what that does is. It holds on that. Zero, say like now. You hold on that frequency. So if someone unkeys. It'll, it'll start scanning. But if you press hold. Even if they unkey. It'll still. Um, be on that frequency and then you can press program then private to program this uh, frequency in this is uh, Leeds Bradford Atis So it looks like the Lee Bradford Airport's open. Other day, it was closed. And I think it'll cl there won't be many flights today. I think it'll be closed um, shortly due to the COVID-19. Um, underneath the scanner, just tells you a few megahertz bands what uh what they're on which is andy but overall i re highly recommended scanner especially for entry level um i'd i'd definitely get one like i said the only thing i don't like about it is you can't punch a frequency in yourself but it's not a big deal you can also press the search button there and go up and down the frequencies until you um, receive something. 
But there's no uh, not much happening at the moment on the scanning side of stuff. Obviously, with everybody being on lockdown, um, I got I got it at the wrong time, really. But it's in the shack, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys, for watching, and uh, hopefully, I can get out, do some camping, and well, we all can get out from this lockdown, but. Main thing is keep indoors as much as you can, keep your family safe and everybody else, and it'll be usual, it'll be back to normal soon, as usual selves, and we can get on with whatever we're getting with. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.